Right, I've just built this uh, little circuit on a breadboard. It's uh, a blue LED with a series resistor. Um, I've gone for a 68 ohms and I'm trying to light it up with one of these Eneloop rechargeable single cell batteries. Um, and of course it's not working. And there's a very good reason for it not working and that is, well there's two reasons. One is that uh, 1.2 volts coming from the battery isn't enough to overcome the forward voltage of the LED. But the second reason, and you may just be able to see it, is that the LED is the wrong way round. So we're wrong polarity. So it's not going to light up. It's not going to work. But there is one way to overcome both these problems, both the inadequate voltage and the incorrect polarity, by just introducing one component. And the component that's going to uh, do this is an inductor. So there's an inductor. It's an uh, enamel copper wire wound around a ferrite core. And now if I put the negative here, you can probably just see tiny bursts of light coming from the LED. Now I'm just going to turn the light off because uh, this should show up much better in the dark. And there they are. Now this is not a very intelligent way of doing this because I'm putting the battery across what is effectively a dead short. Um, in fact the inductor is open circuit for the first few nanoseconds and then as it fills with current and uh, a magnetic field develops in the ferrite it then uh, becomes a dead short and you can probably see some sparks coming out of the point where I'm touching that negative lead but it is doing the job it is raising the voltage to that uh, well to a voltage higher than the forward voltage of the LED and it's uh, creating the reverse the back EMF the reverse voltage required to light the LED which is connected the wrong way around um, and the purpose of all this is just to become familiar with inductors because I'm going to be using an inductor in the uh, MPPT charge controller circuit. So I just thought I'd see if I could get an inductor to do what it does. And, uh, well, it does. 